Ahoy there mates, what's good, what's really good, it's the Salty Sea Dog and welcome to the very first episode of LPs with SSD. So uh, for our very first episode, we're going to be playing uh, Chronicles of Teddy, Harmony of Exodus. I hope that I, hope I got that correct because uh, it's one of those names that uh, just sounds like they try to throw in a whole lot of cool words together. Anyway, very simple option settings, uh, let's just go straight into the game. Oh, select a file, kind of like a Zelda thing. I'm catching that old school adventure game sort of vibe already. So it says press any button to skip. It's like it wants you to skip this. Okay. The world of Exodus is inhabited by monsters and ruled by King Tarrant. The Sovereign rules over the land with an iron fist and has no friends. As for the monsters, they have lost their joy and sadness. And sadness now guides them. <laughs> well aware that no one will befriend him again in the land of Exodus, King Tarrant decides to open the gate that connects the kingdom to the world of men. Perhaps he could find a friend there. The gate which has remained closed for thousands of years, opens into the bedroom of a little girl, sleeping peacefully with her teddy bear. Tarrant thinks that this bear would make an ideal companion. Still and lifeless, it cannot judge his, this maligned king. My reading is terrible. Feeling an unimaginable joy, Tarrant returns to the Exodus without closing the gate connecting the two worlds. When the little girl realizes her teddy bear is missing, she passes through the gate to look for him. And that's the little girl. Hmm. After a thousand and one adventures, she finally manages to find her teddy and even befriends the lonely King Tarrant. Despite this, he brings the girl back to her world, but he now knows that beyond his kingdom, someone is thinking of him. The years pass and Tarrant, thanks to his experience, manages to regain the love of his subjects. But such harmony fuels the hatred of some of his more malicious subjects, like Anguis the magician, who decides to usurp Tarrant's throne and take control of his kingdom. After a fierce battle, he manages to defeat Tarrant and take the crown of Exodus for his own. To prevent the monsters from finding refuge in the world of men, Angus seals the gate which Tarrant has used in the Library of Worlds. To open the gate, you must find the four crystals, four crystal eggs and return them to their rightful places. <laughs> Why is my reading so terrible? Only these eggs created by Tarrant can produce the energy needed to reopen the gate between Exodus and the world of men. To keep this from happening, Angus uh, uses his dark powers to trap the crystals in the Great Book of Monsters and has hidden these books throughout the vast library of worlds. <laughs> and with that hateful act, the reign of sinister usurper Angus begins. However, Tarrant's soul still exists and has somehow made its way back into the world of men. Finding himself in the dark room, an object catches his attention, a small teddy bear that brings back wonderful memories. By taking possession of this empty, lifeless form, Tarrant hopes to be able to communicate with those around him and most of all, meet his old friend again. So I'm guessing Tarrant did not return the teddy bear even after being friends with the girl. As beans, you have to return what you stole, buddy. Oh, partridges. So where I'm from, uh, which is a, a country in Africa, uh, we get power cuts all the time. So this would this is very familiar territory for me already. Uh, how are you a little girl and you just have a sword and shield on the ready like that? Didn't even take them off the shelf. Just right there, sword and shield. In the modern world. Ready. So far seems simple enough. And then the teddy bear is just waiting on a pedestal. Like he's ready, he's, he's prepped.
graveyard. You are now in Exodus. Angus took control of our world and we have to stop him. He is currently going to the library. Hurry up. No, I like the way it's like we have a power outage and then instead of, you know, going to see what's wrong with the transformer, we're going on some big adventure. Teddy bear didn't even... Oh, okay, you got a downward stab, which doesn't hurt pots funny enough. But, um... Yeah, instead of going to the transformer, you know, seeing what's up, go straight to the graveyard, because that makes logical sense as it being the source of this power outage. Okay. Simple enough. There we go, got some jewels. Alright, alright. Getting some cash money. There we go, Just introducing us to some of the basic mechanics. Ready. Okay. Yeah, I'm one of those people who has to. I don't. I'm not like a completionist, but I'm like, if it's on the screen, I have to get to it. That's kind of. If an object is on the screen, I have to collect it. It's just kind of high play games, but I'm not like a full out completionist. There we go, we've got some goons here. There we go. Uh -huh. uh. Wow, 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 this guy is kicking my ass. He's not even trying. Wow. Oh, it's dropping skulls. I thought it was just dumping. Very kind of quiet this game. I'd expect it to have like a little Zelda esque soundtrack. I'm guessing these little white orbs are health. Well, well, I don't know. There's like a slight stiffness to the controls. That is taking some getting used to on my end. Uh huh. Bruh. There we go. But then how? Okay. For the sake of progress, we will uh, leave that alone. Uh, whatever thing, I just missed something secret. Well, I'm sure you have to come back there at some point because that wasn't accessible at the time. Yeah, there's a slight, there's a slight kind of delay-ish feeling to the controls that I'm still trying to get used to, but we'll get there eventually. Let's see what's past here. Oh, look at that. Okay, I was about to say, am I supposed to push this the whole way? Let's quickly go back and see what's in this building. If this is the library, I'll laugh because it's like right in the graveyard. What the hell is this? It's a giant rat. That's classic old school game type of stuff. Bad guy sees you, just laughs and bolts. So wait, hold on. Now, um... How is the library just linked to the graveyard like that? 
Okay, so I'm guessing this is where we're supposed to go now and we'll probably progress into the other place later. So for now, I'll go here. I like the way they have a library right beside the graveyard. Like, you know, the dead people, they're going to want to read something, you know? They're going to catch up. They want to catch up on all those books they never got to read while they were still alive. So might as well. Hey, a little classic Zelda-esque pose with the chest opening. Okay. You found the book that allows you to access the forest. Go to the main room indicated by a book on the map. Our touch screen gives you a map. Any zoom options? No, that's just how you see the map. So where's this book? Okay, I see that. Okay, I see that. Makes sense. Thank you, Mr. Teddy. Slash Tarrant. So let's just see how this map system works. Okay, I see that. So we're just going to do a bit of exploring before we actually go to the main room. But, um, yeah. The music is quite nice, though. a giant organ that only has four keys or four actually oh this is oh this is the I think that's where you put the four crystal eggs and that's probably where you're gonna end up at the end of the game nice and zoomed in now Oh, this looks like it's got a little Super Mario Brothers kind of thing where you probably hit a block. Some will activate a switch and those things come. Those things are defined, you can step on them. I don't know, there's something about the movement that is really, I, need, I really need to get used to. It's, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but it just feels kind of stiff-ish. That's probably what I was going for, so just going to have to get used to it, I guess. I really like this art style, uh, but um, it's kind of hard to tell what's in the foreground and what's in the background sometimes. God, wait, hold on. So I guess this is where I'm supposed to go. Okay, like that. That looks like it's in the background in a way, and this looks like it's in the foreground. Is that something I can step on? See. That's where it gets confusing. Can I swim? I assume I can. Oh, no! Oh, they got! <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay! Probably not where I'm supposed to be. Let's see what's happening here. Uh, okay, uh. Okay, well, we can save, so let's just. Let's save here. Might as well. And I guess we're not supposed to be here yet. Alrighty. So is this the one that the book opens? No, it is not. Uh, so let's see. So the one of the book, oh, it's this big center door here, which I actually did not notice when I started the place. 
Oh no, hold on. That's that's where I came in. Okay. Okay. So I'm assuming it's the one above here. There we go. This looks progressive. Perfect. So the book just hits a Spider-Man and clamps the top and just chills there. Just sticks to the top of the shelf. Any progress here? Looks like it. Yeah, I find... Okay, we're a little ghosty here. Let's see, can we, can we talk to him? Goes, hold up, hold up. Hold up, read them, boys. So I guess that's just health. Some sort of accessory. Hold on, hold on there, buddy. Oh, okay, you can pay for it gradually. I was like, uh, I was looking for a description, but uh, ended up giving him three of my jewels. Uh, this art style is quite cool, but like, it's hard to tell what's in the background and what's in the foreground, you know? Another person, I don't mind this uh, pixel sort of... Okay, yeah. I don't mind this... Um, what you call it? Pixel, pixelated type of graphic style, you know? I'm forgetting the name of it. It's actual name right now, but... You know, there's sometimes when, uh, in cases like this, when, you know, a little bit of extra things could have been done to make it a bit more clear and apparent what you're doing. Anyway, we've got these uh, breasted lizards with a lion's mane and a six pack. Alrighty. Alrighty. Here we go. Now, these guys are. Kit it out. Oh shit. Dark Souls. So yeah, that's why it's it's got slow intentional movement, you know? So you get that Dark Souls vibe where every single swipe of your blade counts. You know, you have to actually plot everything. Alrighty. Here we go. Oh, Okay, was not expecting that. Ha! Oh, oh shit. There's something I never checked. Can I block? I have a shield. I guess I stand there to block. I have to check. We have to test that that theory out on the next enemy. You have wall jumps? No, yeah. I was hoping for too much with that one. Hmm, okay, let's... Let's continue. I have a feeling that me falling down that pit was a bit of a mess up, but anyway. Okay, let's check the block. Okay, yeah, you just stand there to block. Cool. That works for me. Why put an enemy on the wall when you can barely interact with the wall like you can't wall climb or something like what well yeah i'm having i'm actually finding it a bit tricky getting used to this, these controls all right got these mcgrubers do they spit something as well oh 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 this guy just comes at you bro he's just like come at me bro bring the heat I came with the overhead and I was crouching low. Oh, this guy's got techniques. Shit, I'm being fucked up. Yeah, I just got dunked on by that blob. I'm still trying to really get into this. Okay, let's see how you block these guys. Oh, okay, there we go. Just like the easiest thing, just bait and attack, block it, and then come at him with the heat. 
There you go. I kind of like how you kind of just go to the rest of them like that. Oh, jeez. Got the giant, the giant glowing orb. It covers mostly health. Can I move? Oh, I can crouch move. Oh, look, she moves so much faster and smoother when she's crouching. That is weird. I'm probably going to walk around just crouching all over the place. Seems like a progressive way to go. Do I have anything that I can... Nah, I'm going to have to... Knew it! I wanted to avoid having to... What? Oh, this guy's just waiting on the other end. He's like the security. Ah, bruh! Still getting used to the positioning. There we go. There we go. Oh, you can get an overhead swipe on the third one. Okay, cool, cool. Da, DA. You have found a rune. Now you need to find the music hall, an instrument which allows you to communicate with the inhabitants of Exodus as well as interact with objects. Cool, bruh. Teddy knows. What the? For some reason, I did, I did not uh, take that in. That, that might have happened to me. Well, I, I got the fruit, bruh. It was all worth it. Why does that look like there's something that something to do up there? Anyway. Let's make progress. Let's make progress. Hmm. Alrighty. Alright, I think I found the tree city. Or the house. I can't tell if these people are friendly or not, but anyway. I think that's where we'll be uh, ending our very first episode of uh, LP with SSD. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please uh, give it a like and uh, subscribe if you're new here, which you probably are because this is the very first video of uh, my uh, kind of Let's Play channel. Uh, so far, I must admit, it's kind of weird playing a game and talking at the same time. I usually do that, but... Uh, now it's like I'm having a conversation with people that actually aren't in the same room as me. Meanwhile, I'm usually just shouting all sorts of rubbish uh, to myself when I'm playing games. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Leave a like, please subscribe, and um, take care. Until next time, happy sailing, buddies.